Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new and you haven't seen the first part of this video My name is Donna and this is part two of my Vova slash June haul um, So I did the first bit so if you would like to see the first part of this video Which I do highly recommend because I did get some amazing bargains then check that one out but the video was running slightly longer and because I just do my videos basic um, the longer the video the longer they take me to upload and they can take forever so um, I thought I'll do this in two goes just so it doesn't take me so long to upload them so uh, yeah we're gonna crack on with part two so this is the next one I know exactly what this is um, but I just thought this was so funny and I want to do what somebody else did um, and just pop it on the toilet and then see people's reactions when they first see it. So it is a toilet lid sticker. So when you open up your toilet, this would just go inside the lid. And yeah, I just thought it was so funny. Um, yeah, um, this one was, I never crossed off Teddy Heart necklace. Right, just bear with me one minute. Done, 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 done. I haven't got that yet. No, uh, 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 got them. Okay, right. So this, oh, this might be a doom. Yes, this one was from doom, and this one was two pound. So uh, this is a doom item. And so, like I said to you before, Joom and Vova, you do not have to pay postage. So the price you see is the price you pay. Um, so that sticker was two pound. So, um, yeah, I thought that was just a bit fun. Just a bit of fun. Um, right. Da, 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 da. Oh, this is so cute. Right, now, is this one on here? No, I think that's, yeah. This is an owl earring. And it is so cute. I just want to show you. So, obviously, that's the keyring bit that it comes with. And then it's just like um, a little puff ball, a little pom-pom. But you've got that gorgeous owl face. How cute is he? And then he's got the little crystals around the eyes. Um, well, they're not crystals. They look like crystals, but they're not. They're the same as what's on the ears, look. See the ears? So that's the same as what's on his... Um, so he's got his little ears. It's a bit hard. I'm trying to do it without getting me facing it. So his ears. But yeah, he was £1.5p, and I thought he was so cute. Um, so that's just a little thing for my daughter. I thought that could go on her school bag. Um, she'll like that. So that is so cute. So yeah, that one was one pound five p, and again that one was Vova. So we're back to Vova again. Next one. Ah, oh, yeah, I know what this is. Right, this is a bracelet. I've got this one for my son. And it is just a diesel bracelet. So it's um, it's like a multi one. So there's three strips to it. And then it fastens with that onto there. And this bracelet was... Um, Mm, where are you? Oh, there it is. pound sixty-one for that. Um, so, yeah, I've got that. And that also was a Vova. This one, what are you? 
Oh, awesome. Uh, this is just a multi bag of studs, all different sorts of piercings. Uh, these are titanium, but they are the multi, the rainbow sort of multicolored titanium. And these were, I do believe these were Vova. Uh, no, these were June. £2.70. Now, bearing in mind, these two here, these two little studs, were £8 each in Claire's accessories. Now, I like, I've, um, I don't like butterflies backs. So, I, I like the flat backs. I don't know if you can see, they're all flat backs. Um, so I went into Claire's Accessories and I needed two and they were eight pound because you buy them singly. So it cost me 16 pound for just the two. So when I went on, I had a look and yeah, for how many did I say? 16 um, surgical steel piercing things. So you've got all sorts in there and different sizes, different lengths for that price. Uh, £2.70. That is absolutely bizarre how Claire's accessories can charge £8 just for one. So yeah, very happy to try these. Um, yeah, very happy. So there's all sorts in there. Um, that you know you can put them here because they're different sizes you can put them hit there for here there for here up here you can use them in your nose um, lip um, you can use them all sorts of places but I just thought for that price yeah and there's all different ones in there that one's like a little pointed one uh, that's just a little ball you've got rings in there well oh, there's a bendy hoopy one um, oh, I can... that one there see see that would be the sort of one that I would wear here if I was to get my septum so you'd have the two balls either side um, but also you could use that there in that piercing too um, so yeah so really happy with that I think I've gone on about those long enough so that was those and that was June so Yep, very happy to get them. This is the last little one. Oh, and it's a little owl charm. Now, these are just to go on. I have a Pandora style bracelet. It is not Pandora. It is sterling silver. It came from Argos, um, but it's not Pandora. And I, could, I needed some new charms to go on it. Um... These are supposed to be 925, but there is no stamp on them. But for what I paid for them, I very highly doubt that they are. They may be plated. Um, so this one is, wait for it, this little cute, if I can get it, to, there we go, little owl charm, 37p, that cost me. And he is proper metal. He's not just cheap plastic. He's proper metal. And there's the back, look. So he's all the way around. Um, but yeah, 37p. So that's that one. Owl charm. That was just my... Uh... So that is that. Right, now we are moving on to the gym items. So these, I know, are gym. Because they're in jean bags. So. Oh, one. Two. So there's two in here. Oh. Anyone remember these from your childhood? Glow in the dark stars. Now I just thought these would look quite funky in my daughter's bedroom. There's loads in there and these were three pound so not over cheap but you do get a lot in that packet there's like as you can see there is a lot in there and they are different color but obviously they glow the same color they glow like this so that was three pound for all them 
Um, so that's that. And then we'll Um, I, I got a face massager, just a little one. Um, I've got one of these already, but I just thought for when mine... I have got an electric one as well. I haven't used my electric one yet. My electric one came from Avon. I haven't tried it yet, but I do use my one like this, which I actually got from Primark. Um, but I ordered this one before I got the one from Primark. Um, so I ordered this one. This one is pound ninety. I think the one I got from Primark was £1.50 and it was a pack of two. So it was cheaper to go to Primark. But I ordered this one before I found the Primark one. So, uh, But yeah, it's handy to have a backup. So I've got another. And I do find these are good, actually. Even though these don't massage, I just you have them between your fingers like that. And you just, with your, you know, your, um, your cleanser. Yeah, I find they're good. Um, so that is that one. Right, what else we got? This is quite a hard one. Does it say what this is? Ah, oh, travel bags. Now I'm hoping these are going to be, I'm only going to open one because they're identical. I ordered two. Um, so this is the red one. And then I ordered one in black. So they are identical, as you can see. So I am going to open one, just so we can see what it's like. Now, I've got a holdall that I take on if I go on an aeroplane. But when I was at, the last time I flew, I had my suitcase, and then I had my hold all over my shoulder. And every time I tried to put my holdall on my suitcase, it just dropped through the bars. It wouldn't stay, so I did have to carry it on me. And then I saw these. Oh, it's just in a little bag, so that's quite cute. I'm assuming it comes out of itself. It's probably going to be a nightmare to get this back in its bag, but I just want to see what it's like for the sake of the video. where ah that bit so where it was tucked in on itself I can't see how that's gonna work so this is a holder anyway let me open it it is quite cheap looking to be honest with you it's not very thick but if it works it works Right, so I'm just going to open it a minute. So, as you can see, there's no lining. It is very cheaply made. But, so you put your stuff in there. And then this bit is where the, the um, your trolley, your suitcase, you, um, you know when you drag your suitcase along, you've got the handle. That actually goes through there. So this will actually sit on top of your suitcase so when you're wheeling your suitcase along it won't go nowhere because the, the handle goes through there and keeps it in place um, which I thought would take the weight off my shoulders and um, yeah and because me and my partner have a suitcase each I thought we could have one of these each I don't know how the hell I'm going to get it back into there mind you um, but yeah these were £3.60 each so when you look at them, they are very cheaply made, but if they work, um, yeah, but they're not bad. And I actually thought this was black, but I think it's more blue than black, maybe. Um, but yeah, so they're just like that. And they do look like they would hold quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I'm interested to try these out, see if these do actually work. Um, so I'm just going to stick them over there. So that was them. Travel bag. One black, one red. But even though it looks more navy blue. So that is that. 
Right, this one. Got two left. Oh no, saying that. There's two in here. Ah! Yes, I know what this is. This is a hair turban. Now, sometimes I didn't actually buy this to use for after. Well, you could use it for after you washed your hair because that's what they're for, their hair turbans. But also, I thought it would look quite cute. I'm not going to put it on because I'm going to mess my hair up. But I thought it would be, um, apparently, because they're so stretchy here, they're quite good for if you're having a bath, you do not want to get your hair wet, you don't need to wash your hair, just stick this over your head and it keeps everything tucked up in because it's got quite a wide, as you can see, all that there is stretchy. Um, so, yeah, it's just one that I will use for if I'm having a bath and I don't want to get my hair wet. So, it just... <laughs> Um, this one was £3 for that. Um, so yeah. Because it's just normally I just tie my hair up like this, but all this bottom bit does still get wet from the bath. Because I like lie back and I go on my iPad or read a book or whatever. So um, yeah, so that is that one. And then this one is some mittens. Now, it's awfully cold out. My hands do get really cold. But like today, I'm going to town. So I'm going to be in and out of my purse. Maybe on my phone. And you can't do none of that. Well, I, I know you can actually get mittens that um, are fingerless. But I just look, look at that. How cute are they? So my actual hand stays warm, but my fingers are free. Because um, you can get ones that come to here, and these parts are free. Um, but these are three pounds as well, I do believe. Yeah, three pounds these were, and I actually really like these. They fit nice. Um, they're like the cable knit. They look really tiny, but they do actually fit really well. There, look, see. I really like them. So I may actually use these when I go to town today. So I'm going to keep these ones out. So yeah, like them. Last one. Last one. And this one also has two in it. Right, now. Oh my God, that is horrendous. Ew. Yeah, right, okay. I'm going to show you this one anyway, but I don't like it. Right, now, <coughs> every now and again, when you're on Faber and when you're on Wish and when you're on Joom, they'll show you something will come up with the, the most amazing price. I.e., this hoodie jumper was £3.24. Now, when I first used to see these prices, I used to think that was for every size. Uh, uh, uh. It is normally only for the smallest size that they do. So this is a three extra small. Now, yes, I didn't buy it for me. I am nowhere near three extra small. I wear, as you saw in my last top, a three XL large. Um, but I thought it might fit my daughter. My daughter is 10. So I thought for £3.24, I might be able to get her a really cheap hoodie. So this is the jumper. And the sleeves and that's the little motif on the front it has got the hood but the reason I said uh -uh, I'm not keen on this is the material of it I it's nice and soft on the inside don't get me wrong that looks lovely and soft but the outside just feels really weird it is not like any jumper that I've ever felt before it's soft But it's really hard to explain the material. I don't I don't even know if there's a label in here. Is there a la a cloak? Ah, there's a label. See if it'll tell me what it is. 65% polyester, 35% cotton. But it's just bizarre. The material is bizarre. But don't get me wrong, it is really soft on the inside. That is like lovely and soft. So my daughter may wear it, but the only thing is I think that's gonna be a bit big for her for a minute. 
but it's just like their sizes are strange because like I'm a 3XL whereas in our sizes I would be a large so in the UK I'm a size large 14 to 16 Primark for instance um, and if I go into other shops I'm a 16 but like I say in Primark let's class as a large and then so I have to shop for a 3XL to get things to fit me on this site so I'm actually going up three sizes so I thought for a small, a small in the UK is what? I don't know, six to eight, maybe an eight to 10. So a three X small, I thought would be like a, a size two, a size four. Um, but to me, this looks like a size eight to 10, like a size small. So yeah, the sizes are strange. They are strange, but for three pound 24, even if I put it away and she wears it when she fits in it, um, it is cheap. So, um, so yeah, so that is, oh no, I've got one more item. Here I am saying, oh yeah, um, last item. This could either be, oh no, I've done the mittens. So all I'm waiting for now from June is a lip shimmer and a hair remover. Um, so I'm not quite sure which this one is, to be honest with you. Looks a bit small to be the pet remover, hair remover. Oh, it is the hair remover. Now, my dog and my cat molt like crazy. And this is just a little handy gadget. It's got a little cellophane thing on it. But you're supposed to just rub it over your clothes, rub it over your... And it's supposed to get rid of all the pet hair. Um, so I just thought that might come in handy because I do get covered in pet hair. And then when it's absolutely full of pet hair... Because it's like a soft rubbery material, you just rinse it under the tap, warm water, and it just, all the hair's supposed to just rinse off. And then you're ready to go again. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd give that a whirl. Um, and that one was £2. So if that works, that's going to be a godsend because I do quite often go out absolutely covered in pet hair. Um, so yeah, so that was £2. So I'm only actually waiting on one more thing from June. And then I'm still waiting on one, two, three, oh, I'm only waiting on three things from Vova. So I've not got much left to come. Um, see my floor. Right, so um, yeah, so that's everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Really would make my day. Um, yeah i really enjoyed that that was really good um but uh yeah i've been waiting for a long time for a lot of this stuff but um yeah i'm gonna shoot off now because i do need to get ready to go into town my bus is in half an hour and um yeah i enjoyed that i hope you enjoyed that um and i will see you again soon for another haul like I say, I am going into town to do some Christmas shopping, so you never know. That could be the next haul that I upload. Hope you're all well, and I will see you again very soon. Thank you for watching.